Hey everybody, so this is Unit 4, Module 3, Session 7. It's a skills review, so it's going to go over a few things we've done already. Um, so this first part is a standard algorithm. So this is just following the process of the standard algorithm. So I'm always going to start with the bottom right number, the ones place in the bottom number. So 8 times 6 is 48. I'm going to carry the 10, I'm going to carry the 4. Then I'm at the 0, right? 0 times 8 is zero plus that four that I carried over is four though um, and then so I'm done with that four eight times seven is 56 I'm done with that eight I'm gonna put a placeholder then I go to the tens column on the, the bottom number so two times six is 12 I'm gonna carry that one over that four that I, that I left zero times two is zero plus that one is one and seven times two is 14. And I, I was really careful to line everything up. So eight plus zero is eight. Four plus two is six. Six plus one is seven. Five plus four is nine. And then a one. 19,768. All right, let's try to get on the next one. Uh, I always start with the bottom right. So it's seven. So seven times nine is 63. The three carry that tens place, that six. Um, 1 times 7 is 7, plus 6 is 13, so I have another 3, carry the 1. 5 times 7 is 35, plus 1 is 36, so there's no place to carry that 3, so I'm going to put it right there. And then I'm going to cross off the 7, cross off all my remainders, or not remainders, my carrying numbers, and I'm going to put a placeholder. 3 times 9 is 27, carry the 2, and 1 times 3 is 3, plus 2 is 5. And 5 times 3 is 15. There was nothing that was carried over there. So I'm going to put a 15. Um, 3, 0, carry that 1. Um, so that's a 6 plus 5 is 11, plus 1 is 12. Carry another 1. That's 9, 19,203. And I forgot to say at the beginning that I say every time is if you get it, make sure you pause the video, try some, and then check use the videos to check your answer. If you don't get it, Hopefully you're able to understand a little bit this one. Then try this next one, then re then press play on the video to, to get help or check your answers. So hopefully you're pausing me and you're going to do the problem on your own and you're going to check answers. So hopefully you just came back, you're checking your answer. So I'm starting with that six. Six times five is 30. So there's a zero there, carry my three. Zero times six is zero, plus um, three is three. And then 4 times 6 is 24. No place to carry that 2. So I'm crossing off my, my carrying number. And I'm going to put a uh, cross off my 6. And then I'm going to put a placeholder. So 5 times 4 is 20. So I'm going to put the 0 here. Carry the 2. 0 times 4 is 0 plus that 2. And then 4 times 4 is 16. So I have a 0. I have a 3. I have a 6. An 8. And a 1. 18,000. 630. All right, hopefully that made some sense because now we're going to do more of it, but we're filling in the block. So I'm going to try it. I almost always get lost in it, and sometimes I have to do the uh, algorithm myself and then compare it, but we'll try it. Okay, so seven times six right here, seven times six. I got to figure out, oh, excuse me, not seven times six, seven times something equals 56. It's five and the six. So well, I know that's an eight, okay? So seven times eight is 56, carry the five. Um, six times eight is 48, but plus that five is, there's the three, and I'm gonna carry the four. Those are the only numbers you're looking for there, okay? Let's go to the next one. Now, this one, I'm gonna get a little confused, but I'll tell you this right now, I know that's gonna be a zero, because that's my placeholder, because it's double digits. So let's give this a shot, okay? 7 times 8 is 56. They carried the 5. See it? So I'm going to put my 6 down here. So this one's going to be a little tricky. 7 times something is... It's not a 0, sorry. 7 times something is um, something with a 5. What? Put no carrying. Ah, uh, I think I know. I think I know. We did a little bit of above because the answer right here is five. I think this is a zero. 
because seven times zero is five. There's not, no one, nothing carrying over. So if it was one, it'd be a 12. You have to carry one. There's nothing being carried. So it's a zero. So let's do some math. Six plus zero is six. Five plus four is nine. And we're done. All right. Okay, next one. So four times something is 36. Well, four times nine is 36, right? Um, and then eight times nine is 72, but I have that three up there. So that's 75, 756. Cross off this, I'm done with that. Four times five is, there's a zero there, right? And I'm gonna carry a two. And then eight times five is 42, they already gave us that. So we're doing the last bit of math. Seven plus two is nine, 4,956. Okay? All right, they gave us some review stuff. Remember, try this on your own if you get it. Um, if you don't, then uh, you can you can play it and watch and we'll, we can hopefully figure it out with you. So Alexis has a treasure box. So that's usually a um, rectangular prism, right? The treasure box is rectangular prism. Oh, I guess I should have read ahead. Um, that measures eight inches by 12 inches by 25 inches. Use a standard algorithm to determine the volume of the box. So they don't tell us what it is, but I'm gonna say it's eight inches high, uh, probably 25 inches wide. So I think this is an eight. That's probably a 25. And let's say this is 12. I I don't know. It didn't tell us what's the, and then it's, it's three dimensional, right? Oops, that was kind of bad. Just go with it. And this was 12. So um, we have to figure out <clears throat> um, any of these numbers multiplied by each other. So it's basically, um, we, we talked about the base, 25 times 12 times 8. It doesn't matter to me. Like this would be the base. Um, but we don't, we don't know that's the base for sure. Um, so... In fact, they give us 8 times 12 first, so maybe I'd say 8 times 12. Um, I'm going to actually do um, 8 times 25, right? What do you think if I did that? 8 times 25. So I'm going to do 25 times 8 times 12. I'm just going to turn around because they're all multiplication. So this, I know there's 4 quarters in a dollar, <clears throat> so 8 quarters would be 200 or $2. Um, times 12, so um, 2 times 12 is 24, then I reattach those zeros, I think it's 2,400 inches cubed, all right, there's my answer, that is 8 times 25 times 12, okay, all right, let's keep going, all right, some skill review, I'm going to draw some pictures for this one, one half, well, this one I don't have to, one half of 84, well, half of 80 and half of 4, that's a 42. Remember, pause it if you didn't get it. So if I know one half of 84 is uh, 42 in each of these, then I can figure out one fourth by splitting half and half, right? So half of 42 is 21, right? And they want one fourth of those 21. One eighth of 24? Well, I already know one fourth is 21, right? And so one eighth is half of a fourth. A little tricky. Half of twenty one. Well, half of twenty is ten. Half of one is point five. I don't think I can fit it in here. I did kind of. Ten point five. That's a ten. Uh, half of sixty two is uh, thirty one. And then. Oh wait a second! I just read that completely wrong. Oh. Half of 31 is not 62. Half of something is 62. Let's draw this picture. My goodness, I almost went too fast. 62 is half of it, right? Well, excuse me. Yeah, 62 is half of it. So if you double that, because there's two 62s, 120, 124. Whew. One fourth of something is 31. So that means. There's four 31s. One fourth is 31. So the whole thing is, well, this is 62. Oh, I recognize this number. 124 is my answer, I believe. 
Okay, let's try the next one. One half, well, excuse me, one fourth of 28th is the same thing as one eighth of um, 14. So let's check this out. So one fourth of 28. So the half would be 14. So that's seven. One eighth of, no way. One half of 14 is seven. I think this one's false. Okay, one eighth of 32 is the same thing as one fourth of 16. Let's do 16, it's a smaller number, let's do that first. Uh, one fourth of 16 is four. And then um, let's do one eighth of, so here's, one half of 32 is 16 here. And we have to do two more, right? There's uh, eight, and then we split that. It's hard to see. We split that eight in half. Yes, I think this one's true. All right, half of 56 is the same thing of one fourth of 28. Well, I know half of 56 is 28. And I know a fourth of 28 is seven, so that one's false. Because I have to divide by four. All right, let's see how much, see if I can get through this one. Okay, the challenge I might leave for you. All right, one half plus five eighths. Well, I know one half is four eighths. And if I add that to five eighths, that equals nine eighths, which is the same as one whole and one eighth. Uh, two and one sixth minus seven twelfths. Well, let's change that to two and two twelfths minus seven twelfths. And we have a lot of different ways we can do this. Um, I know that there's, if I take away the two twelfths, watch this, um, two, uh, if I take away two twelfths from each of them, minus five twelfths now, right? So that means um, there's still seven twelfths left here. So I think my answer is one and seven twelfths. I did that one kind of funky, so make sure you come and ask me questions if you, if you didn't get what I did. Um, eight and three fourths plus one and five twelfths. I'm going to change the fourths to twelfths. What do you think? Um, eight and so it's going to be twelfths. So there's three f times three, right? So there's nine twelfths in that plus one and five twelfths. So here we go. I got uh, nine and fourteen twelfths, which becomes ten and two twelfths, which could also become ten and one sixth we could put that in there i would take either i mean 10 and 1 6 is the most simplified um one, oh, 6 and 89 hundredths plus 8 and 12 hundredths the biggest thing here i always used to say line up the decimals what if you line up the place value hundreds with hundreds tenths with tenths ones with ones and then we just add it up right a good old algorithm not good old but um nine plus two is eleven carry the one this looks like 10, we'll bring that decimal down, so carry the one. And so that's 14 plus one is 15. 15 and one hundredth. Um, so same thing, line up the place values. We're gonna do a lot of borrowing. Um, I'm gonna borrow way over here. That's a 10, but it becomes a nine. That's a 10 now and becomes a nine. This is an 11. So 11 minus two is nine. 9 minus 7 is 2, bring that decimal down, and 9 minus 3 is 6. 6 and 29 hundredths. All right, next one. 2 and 76, line it up. I'm going to do some borrowing. I'm going to borrow here first. That's a 6. Borrow here now. Uh, that's a 10. And that's a 3. 0 and 36 hundredths. All right, so now i got to do some subtraction um, because this looks like, I think this is 6 ninths plus something equals one and four ninths. Well, I also know that one and four ninths is the same thing as, um, well, that's nine, 13 ninths. So I think I just have to add seven ninths to that. What do you think? Seven ninths? Um, I need to figure out what I add to this. So I'll subtract it, 2.99. Um, in fact, I'm just gonna subtract three. So minus three would be 1.08, but one more, 1.09. Going kind of fast now. Trying to get the, all of it in. I have 27 seconds. I'm not going to be able to do the challenge with you guys. Um, five one half minus something is two and three fourths. Well, this is the same thing as five and uh, two fourths minus something. So we're going to minus two and three fourths. Um, we're going to borrow here if there's, there's not going to be time. I'm going to borrow. We'll see if I can. I'm going to run out of time, though, you guys. I'm going to let you guys try and figure that one out a little bit. All right.